Oh, your good friend Thomas Hobbs here to share with you seven thoughts on the English Civil War and how man is life has been nasty, brutish, hellish, and short. And 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 people are just not fundamentally good. I was one of the first philosophs, even before those fancy French ended up uh, meeting in their fancy salons. Um, so I have a chance me to come in and help me with this slide here to look at the authors and the important works of the Enlightenment. Um, and so that's what we're going to do, but I'm going to need to hide my fat head. I'm in, in modern times, apparently I'm in desperate need of a haircut. Find out a few glasses here and get going without further ado. So I, I remember you're going to slide and shuffle these into the right spots, right? And then insert uh, image, search the web, find covers of the books. And don't forget to put in the, the title of the authors here as well. Um, so I'm going to actually put one up that's a master, and I'm going to help you with that. Oh, look at this. Leviathan by me, Thomas Hobbes. Uh, government would be nasty. Life without government would be nasty, brutish, and short. Um, eh, life without government would be nasty. You need absolute power. You need... You need those absolute dictators. Um, life without government would be, uh, you, need a, you need a monarch, ladies and gentlemen. You need a monarch. And a monarch must be firm and strong. And, and we, we need that. We need that monarch. People cannot be trusted. And that's what I wrote in Leviathan. That's what I wrote in Leviathan. Oh, I'm getting old. All right. Uh, it Hobbes, law of life would be nasty, British and short. I, I, a social contract between ruler and the people for protection. But you need an absolute monarch to carry that out. You need an absolute monarch to carry that out. My friend later on, Baron de Montesquieu, was a, a little opposite of me, uh, uh, arguing for a separation of powers in government to create checks and balances against the leader or legislator growing too strong. He sought to protect individual rights. You may want to stop this here to get, get, to get them down. Montesquieu, Montesquieu is, is, is what we need. The spirit of the laws. Um, Baron de Montesquieu, the idea, his major idea, again, separation of powers between the various branches of government, separation of powers between the various branches of government. So slide him into the right spot. And then my contemporary friend Locke writing two treatises on government, John Locke, man should have the natural rights of life, liberty, and property, natural rights. And they have the right to rebel against the ruler who denies them these rights. He was different from me. He he believed that the the uh, the kings were abusing their power, the monarchs were abusing their power, and they needed to check this this gentleman, uh, John Locke, ended up being an inspiration for your American Revolution. And then Voltaire, his pen name Voltaire, about uh, disillusionment of becoming. He was one of those fancy French people in his lines, becoming too disillusioned with society. It's too hard and unfair to the common man. Ridicules religion, armies, and government for abusing men. Candide, Candide was the name of the book. So you can put in the the different titles of the books uh, and the different covers of the books as you go along with this particular slide. So again, you're going to slide and shuffle them in. So you'd probably be better off stopping at. Uh, oops, what happened here? Okay, be better off stopping at certain points to drag and drop them. We'd be better off stopping at certain points to drag them and drop them in. Uh, and, and then you've got this one, and you've got to offer your opine. Uh, let's see if I can zoom this bad boy in. Uh, you offer your opine. Three things we already talked about. Locke's stated were men's all men's natural rights, life, liberty, property. Do you agree with Hobbes when he says that people are inherently greedy and selfish? Uh, do you agree with me that I say people are inherently greedy and selfish and they need government? Others, like thy friend Locke and the Montesquieu and, and, and Voltaire, were like, uh, the man is good. And, 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 um, and uh, uh, Rousseau, man is inherently good and government is holding them down in chains. I said, no, we need that strong government. I was among the first of the philosophes who believed that. I was, I was definitely a royalist and for the, for the cavaliers in the uh, English Civil War. And I was witness to that as well. So this, so you can use my video to help you with, uh, to help you with dragging and dropping them in for slide number twenty. What well, this year would be slide number twenty-six. The important works of the Enlightenment. So um, the important works of the Enlightenment. And there's me, Leviathan, and there's my head. Look at that. That's in that perfect Leviathan, Thomas Hobbes, um, Levi Leviathan, 
Um, and then life without government would be nasty, brutish, and short. And then Montesquieu's spirit of the laws, um, uh, that the, 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 we need a checks and balances of, of certain people. Well, poppycock, we need an absolute monarchy. And then the government has spent too long guiding people that are the life, life, liberty, and property. Man should have the right to rebel. 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 And then Candide, Voltaire's book describing disillusionment. So again, you might want to stop your, your video at certain points to get this and uh, it, or back it up because I put it up before. And we will go from there. It's been nice talking to you.